finally set up for the afternoon in what is, without a doubt, the absolute worst tree I've ever been in in my life. I wouldn't be able to get in, in it at all if I wasn't on out of a tree saddle. I can literally reach my hand around the tree and touch my hands together. It's no bigger than that. Tiny, tiny tree. But because of the wind, I had no options. We're on right in here, right on the edge of a bedding area. I've watched deer come in here. It's a bunch of beaver water out here, a bunch of flood water that beavers have dammed up. And there's little high spots all out in it. And it runs right up here against some open hardwood timber that they're feeding in. And there's a real thickety strip that they've just got tore up with buck sign. And there's one feed tree out here in this thicket that's dropping acorns right here under us. This is the only tree to get in, but those deer coming out of this backwater off of these islands and going out here into this bigger timber and feeding all night and then wading back out here and getting back on these islands. We've kind of got our wind blowing right back out here over the point of some open timber and into the main hole of water, so I don't think any deer are bedded there. They're back behind us in this thicket. We're gonna catch them, try to catch them coming out of the thicket and hitting this edge right here beside us. So, uh, settle in and see what happens. Let me show y'all this tree. I mean, you can see it in, in relation to my head and my bow. It's a tiny, tiny tree. I mean, I'm, if I move at all, I'm swaying all over the place. But, uh, I mean, you see it shaking just with me, just shifting my weight. It, it shifts and shakes. We've got a little wind, so hopefully that'll cover any of that. Should have to shift my weight for a shot, but we'll see. Worst tree ever, uh, but it might work. Only option. Let's see if it will. tell you about the worst tree ever. It might be the worst tree ever. But it worked. See the deer. Y'all, there wouldn't be much, 
much of the deer coming in. All I had was this hole. I heard him cross this backwater, come right out of the bed like I thought. We've only been in the stand about 30 minutes. So, good deal. We'll set up here a while longer. He was quartering to me slightly, so just in case he didn't go down, it, the shot looked good from what I could tell. But I'm going to set up here just in case it come out farther back. But, uh, because that deer actually, he ran out the way that I walk in. So, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll set up here a while longer and, uh, then go track that thing up before it gets dark. We got about 30 minutes or so, 30, 45 minutes till dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb down and uh, hopefully that deer didn't go very far. I thought that I saw him, pretty sure I saw him go down. I know I saw him start wobbling around, but uh, we'll get down, see if we can find him real quick and uh, show him to you before it gets dark. So here he is, pretty good public ground buck. Perfect shot. Only ran about 60 yards. Here he is. Uh, decided to do this recovery this morning just so he'd have more light after we found him yesterday afternoon. But, uh, man, I tell you what, there is something that is just so rewarding about killing deer on public ground. And just the challenge of getting in here and finding deer like this and being able to get within bow range and stick an air in them, there's something about that that's just so rewarding. Nothing against private ground hunting, but on this public ground stuff, there's so many things out of your control. You can't uh, you can't control the pressure. Other people coming in trying to hunt right where you're hunting. Uh, you can't plant food plots. You can't change the habitat, create funnels and stuff like that uh, for the deer to walk through. There's no agriculture, and uh, you know you can't bait. All of those things. All you can do is come in here. Lot very limited access. Got to walk walk a long ways. A lot of times, uh, hour and a half to get in here to this spot. 
but uh, and you notice I'm wearing hip boots, a lot of wading water and all kinds of stuff to try to get in here. So it, it's tough hunting, but it's really rewarding when it all comes together. And all you can do is just find deer sign, use woodsmanship and try to piece, you know, basically like putting a puzzle together. You find feed sign, you find tracks and trails and, you know, find where your deer are, buck sign, scrapes, the paws, um, hooking, all that kind of stuff and just try to tie those pieces together and strategize and pick a tree that a deer like this is gonna walk by. This is probably a four and a half year old deer. And uh, you know, we picked the right tree. It was a crappy tree to set in, but it was the tree he wanted to be close to. And it all worked out. And uh, we were able to sling air through him with this Dart Maverick XT. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. It was a fun hunt. Like I said, I was an hour and a half getting in here, just me with my bow, so. It's going to take quite a while to get this thing out. So I'm going to get started on that right now. Appreciate y'all watching. And uh, stay tuned. I got another tag left.